or with fewer and fewer Americans having grown up on a farm, an effort is underway in schools around the nation to help students understand where their food comes from. It's called Ag in the Classroom, and Elisa Hines met up with their latest award-winning teacher. It's snowing paper balls in Lisa Storm's classroom. Now get one that is not your own. Using Ag in the Classroom curriculum resources, Lisa teaches science using examples from agriculture. Inform, that's all information. Even though the subject was a general science subject like matter, solid, liquid, gas, um, we tied it in with what's really happening today, the snow and the weather, and then we tied it in with how that affects the um, crops and the farmers and the situations around us. And since most of us are three or four generations removed from the farm, but still dependent upon agriculture to eat, Lisa says using it to teach just makes sense. There's lots of reasons why I use Ag in the Classroom. Um, there's so many subjects you have to teach in third grade, and it's why you might as well use agriculture topics to teach them rather than anything else. Like if you're teaching uh, drawing conclusions or making an inference, you could read things about penguins or taxis in New York, or you could read about sheep and wool and pork and wheat in Oklahoma. And for some students, finding out where their food comes from is eye-opening. At the beginning of the school year, I find that many of them don't realize where their food comes from. And so we start with that. <laughs> you know, where does this hamburger meat come from? Where does pork chops, where do pork chops come from? Even wheat, they know there's wheat, they just don't realize it's ground and to make flour and the flour is made all these other products. So that's, that's a big one that we start on. Oklahoma agriculture makes us strong. Now Lisa's students are so excited about what they're learning that she made a video of them talking about Oklahoma agriculture. Our university makes us strong. I got my iPad out and we had done the lesson, Oklahoma Agriculture, Oklahoma Strong. So I said, asked my students, what do you remember from this? And they started stating things. So then we wrote it down, wrote our script, and we practiced. And as they say, practice makes perfect, turning their video into an award-winning one. What is that green stem? Audrey Harmon is a state coordinator for Oklahoma's Ag in the Classroom and says the class's video is really eye-catching. She made sure that her class knew about agriculture. They chose agriculture-related books, and then as she went through the classroom, they would say a little bit about agriculture and what they had learned. Um, it brought up a lot of great discussions in her classroom about uh, where their food comes from. Now, not only did Lisa win the Ag in the Classroom video contest, but she also won another great honor. Lisa's a fantastic teacher. She's a great proponent for agriculture, and she's helped Ag in the Classroom specifically by writing over 50 smart board lessons that we can use and offer to teachers in our state and all across the nation. Very excited and surprised and humbled because there's so many good teachers out there. Lisa Storm, Ag in the Classroom Teacher of the Year.